this woman was stopped by a meteorite. At 2.46 p.m. on November 30, 1954, a 3.8 kg space hole blasted through the roof of an Hodges rented house, punched through the ceiling, bounced off a radio, and slammed right into her head as she slept on the couch. Anne survived, but the bush it left was huge and the shock was even worse. The U.S. Air Force grabbed the work for testing. When it confirmed it was a meteorite, a legal battle broke out. Anne said, God intended it for me. Boalande claimed it was a property since it fell on a house. After a year of headlines and tension, Anne paid the landlady $500 just to keep the work. Anne's life was never the same. Stress, fame, and pressure followed her. For years, she eventually donated the meteorite to the Alabama Museum of Natural History where it's still disappeared today. Meanwhile, a farmer found a second piece nearby. It sold ease for a good profit and it now sits on the Smithsonian. Every day is historical. If you want to learn about history every day, subscribe for more videos like this.